So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside of the car though, you can see it's a three-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, first of all. The speedometer is over on the right-hand side. In the middle at the top, you can see the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And beneath that, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for the car. They are 59,746. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change information displayed there using controls on the indicator stalk uh, for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And over on the right-hand side, we have both stereo and phone controls. You can only use the phone controls after you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the touch screen in the center, just here. So you'd hit the phone icon uh, and then search device and follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, up the top here, we've got our different audio sources. So AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input. Bluetooth audio as well. This car's also got USB input, so if you plug a device into that, uh, you'll have that as a further option up on this screen as well. You can plug in certain Voxel-friendly apps uh, via your smartphone uh, and project them up onto the screen just there. So the left-hand side of the screen, we can turn the parking sensors on and off. We can turn on the city uh, power steering, so it makes the power steering extra light. We've got a heated steering wheel, heated passenger seat, heated driver seat, deadlock so you can lock the car doors and unlock the car doors from the outside. Working our way down, we've got the main volume for the stereo and then air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed and the direction of the air. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. You can see the light uh, will come on to let you know it's turned on. We can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set just here. And we have our heated rear screen. Beneath that, we have a USB input, 12 volt charging socket, and then the five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.